Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and this video is gonna show you how to plan for your animations. Okay, so what happens when you wanna bring in a sketchbook image that you drew previously, and you wanna set it up as some kind of a blueprint for your animations? What I would do is I would save that image to my computer, and then in Harmony, I would import. So file menu, I'd go import and click on images. I would click on this button right here at the top to browse, and I would go and try to find the actual image that I want, and I would click open. You can create it as a brand new layer. Uh, I'm gonna keep this as an original bitmap, and then I could use this to fit, um, and then I'm gonna click okay. So what this does is it brings in this artwork, and now what I can do is I can trace over it. You can kind of see that the artwork is right here, and I can turn it on and off if I need to. If it doesn't match the size that I want, with that layer selected, so you can see that it's really bright now, I'm gonna go and click on this button that says Transform, and then what I can do is I could stretch this by holding Shift, and it will scale proportionally, and then I could use this as my tool to go and, you know, um, draw my animation. Okay, so now that that's set up in a location of where I want it, I can go and add in a new layer and I could trace over this artwork. Okay, so um, I clicked on this button right here, which will add a new drawing layer. Now on this drawing layer, what I'm going to do is go to my brush and I'm going to pick some kind of a color that will contrast against the black background. I don't want it to be red and green because I want onion skin to show up. So let's just go with this blue. And I'm gonna just zoom in, okay? So for my first drawing, I could trace this out. You wanna add shading, you can, you don't need to. Um, but there it is at the start. I'm gonna go one, two spaces forward. And then I'm gonna go and create the next sketch. I find sometimes it's a really good idea to bring in your path of action sketch because it's just going to make your life a lot easier um, because you know you're doing the thought process ahead of time before you sit down in harmony. Okay, So go with your shapes in the beginning because you want to make sure that the, the size and the volume is appropriate at the beginning. Later you can go back and put all the details and the shading and you can make it look super pretty. But this is essentially it. You're, uh, you're, you're using some kind of a tool to find out where to, to go and put your drawings. Okay, so let me just zoom out just a little bit. And if I want to, I can hide this path of action sketch because, you know, maybe I don't, need to, I don't need to look at it. Now I could scrub through my animation and I could see what's happening. Okay, so there's another way to do this as well. You don't need to go and, you know, bring in something from online. Let me just add a brand new layer. Okay, add and close. Let me just do it on this one. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna zoom out and maybe I want the ball to go here and this is where it's gonna impact. It's gonna bounce there and then it's gonna go here. It's gonna bounce and then it's gonna do its thing. Maybe at this point, the ball should be pretty wide and like spherical in shape. Little squash and stretch happening. So over here, it's starting to, to deform. Over here is where it pancakes. Over here is where it pancakes. And so on and so forth. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm making something that looks like this, but I'm just gonna draw it myself because maybe it would just save me a lot more time. And uh, I'm just gonna make sure that the volume is just about right. So when I go back and trace everything, it should be okay. Now, um, notice that this original path of action, if I click through, you could still see that it shows up. But when I hide this one, and I go back to this sketch, it disappears. So what I wanna do is go all the way to the end of the timeline and press F5. The other option is to right click and then you would extend the exposure. So you would F5. So once that happens, it's gonna stay on screen the entire time. So as you do this, you can go to this other layer and then you could start tracing. Hit the period key to go forward in time. And then now what's happening is, is you're tracing this new sketch that you created. You can deviate from it if you need to. 
but that's essentially it. You do, uh, you want to have some kind of a goal in mind as you do your animations. You want to go and you do this stuff with very, very basic, simple shapes. And then once the shapes are done right, then you go back and you can detail it and make everything look super pretty. And you can adjust the timing. Okay? I hope that was helpful. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.